Well, I think it's an appropriate image. We are in an empty, empty hall. Where, where's the music? The music is not necessarily in, in the expected great institutions that have always been here traditionally. But the music is in the world, it's in the city, it's in the unexpected encounters of people. Because music is not just about music, it's also about society, it's also about culture. Really, it's more about getting out of the box of orthodoxy and rejoining really the world of joy, celebration that really connects all the arts. We wanted to invite an artist who does not work in the field of music to think together with us about the form of concerts and how classical but also contemporary music can be presented today. So this is why I invited Daniel, who is known, worldwide known, as an architect, but he has such a great knowledge about music. So the interesting situation was an architect thinking about music and what concert can mean. Well, to me, it is very related because I used to be a musician and music is really part of my life. It's not something that I once did and I no longer do. I consider that I only changed my instrument. I changed from the accordion to architecture. And the experience of music doesn't take place just inside of your head. It takes place in a space. Uh, and the space and the music converse with each other. You have a, a multivocal conversation, not just in terms of the acoustics and orientation of the human ear, but of your orientation in the world. Music, you know, is invisible, and yet the sound of music is positive. It's, it's the strangest of all things, that you can't see it. You can see an instrument, but you cannot see the music. Architecture is the opposite. You can see the architecture, but you cannot, the, it, the atmosphere of a building is ineffable. You can't really specify it in any way. And that's the kind of inverse connection between music and architecture, which has always been there. Of course, it's also a general experience that the dialogue of arts and the merging of the arts, in this case between architecture and music, can produce very strong, unusual artistic situations, like where the context of music listening shifts and changes and brings us as listeners into situations we, we did not expect. It's a universal tradition that connects all human beings. You know, we might not speak the same language, we might not believe in the same things, we might have opposite views of what the world is, but the music and by the way, also architecture, connects us because we don't have to know anything about it. We can just walk into that space and be struck without knowing anything about the architect, architecture, the era in which it was built. And it just speaks to us. And the same thing is true of music. You can hear even a contemporary piece of music which you think is a piece of noise and suddenly think, oh my God, it's not noise. It's just me, it's, it's my heartbeat. Really, you don't have to be a mystic. There's something so incredibly wondrous about it. You know, look for the unexpected. Expect the unexpected, in fact, because if you don't expect it, you will just miss it and it'll be gone and you'll be gone too.